Once you have your PaintShop Pro installed, whether it's the most recent version or an older one, you'll see that under My Document, inside Corel PaintShop Pro, you'll have your version. I just installed 16 and you'll see a bunch of folders here. Those folders will be installed there whether you want it or not and you can't do anything about it. They are all empty and they are where you will create and save various content whether you create a brush or picture tube or preset shape etc. This is by default where your paint shop will install them. However, this is not a good place to keep them. The most efficient way to have those folders would be on your C drive, somewhere easy for you to remember. So what I'll do, I'll go here and I'll select all those folders and you copy them, control C, and then you go on your C drive, I have here a resource folder and I will create one folder calling it my PSC, my PSP resources. And inside this, I will paste my folders. So you see how all the folders are here. This means that if at any point in the future I have to uninstall my Paint Shop 16, in this case it's the 16, or if something gets corrupt, I won't lose any content that I might have saved possibly in those folders because it's going to be on my C drive. Now, by default, your Paint Shop knows that there are some folders here with possibly some content. Since you are going to save your content somewhere else, you have to tell your Paint Shop. So this is my default Paint Shop 16. What I want to tell my Paint Shop is where to go and get all those supplies. So I go under Preferences file locations and here you have a list of all those folders they're the same as you had so for the brushes it will say that it will be looking into that notice here document Corel Paint Shop Pro 16 brushes and there are some also that are inside the installation itself so these would be your custom brushes but what you'll do is you'll add and you go retrieve where you had your supplies under resources my PSP resource and I have brushes here I said okay and here there's also where I want them to be saved the reason I moved those folders is not only to save whatever I might purchase or download but also what I will create so you pull down this list and you'll see here that my PSP resources brushes now you go for the next one bump map and again you'll add and you see bump maps okay and you can do that for everything. The most commonly used will be the brushes, the gradients, masks, patterns, possibly picture frames, picture tubes, definitely, plugins, if you have any plugins that work with your paint shop, preset shapes, the presets. Uh, you'll have here the scripts, the line styles, textures, swatches, and also your workspaces because you want to keep a copy of any workspace that you might have customized. So once you have done everything that you need in here, and you don't necessarily need to, to 
set them all one by one because maybe some of them you will never use. I know, for example, I never used the mixer pages and monitor profiles. That's not something I use and and so on. So, And then when you're done, you click OK. So whatever you will have in those folders that you created will be read by your paint shop without any problem and they will be safe from any corrupt or uninstall or something like that. Normally if you uninstall properly it's supposed to prompt you whether you want to keep them or not but if at one point or another you have a problem well you can't rely necessarily that this prompt will be doing its job. So this is how you can keep all your content and supplies in one place. One additional advantage of using a folder like this is that as you can see now I have version 14 installed here and if I had all the same folders with 14 and all the same folders for 15 maybe the supplies I created or downloaded for one version, I would want them on the other version. So here, all my content is really version independent. If it's a picture tube that I created when I was using version 14, it's still going to be there when I will be using my new version and I don't have to search my computer all the time. So this is how it's recommended to save all your supplies for your paint shop for a most efficient and safe way to use them.